Diamonds out in cold The producer. Yes, sir. Where you from? Yes, sir. Nice to formally meet you. Nice to meet you. Let them know where you from. Yeah, so I'm Dior the producer. I'm from Hyde Park, Boston. You feel me? We're just out here in New York, just making songs. You feel me? I'll be out here often, but yeah, just out here working. How long have you been uh, like producing for? Uh, I've been making beats for like eight years. No bullshit. Since I was in like middle school. For me, but uh, I really started like taking my brand serious like a few years ago. Once like I, I was in college, like I was playing D1 football at one point, and oh, shit. feel me, I was what position were you? I was a running back. Oh, I'll pop the shit yeah, so I was I was going hard with that, but like um, I was like also focusing on like expanding my brand, and, like because I was working with people in my city beforehand, but um, I really just didn't start putting myself out there until. Like, by expanding the brand, what do you mean by expanding the brand? Just like my face card, cause like there was there was a while where I was sending people beats on Instagram, and like you know like that's cool, but like it doesn't really get your name out there. I feel like like it's 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 better to have like a in person relationship with people. You feel yeah, me? Of course, you gotta show face. Do you uh, do you use YouTube at all to post beats? Um, nah. So. <laughs> it's funny you ask that. I don't, I don't really post beats no more on YouTube because people started stealing them. But uh, yeah. I post like loop kits. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, like people can buy the like loops. Like, it's like to use YouTube, to use it. You know, yeah, no, but when you start selling like your own like kit. Yeah, well, what well, the sample kits or loop kits? They're basically like melody packs. You feel me? Yeah. Because I make my own melodies, so like. I'll, and then you can base it off that melody. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I can I can send that to other producers. You feel me? Because like that way it's easier for me to to work with other people. Like there's people I worked with that's like across the world, like other countries. And shit, yeah. You feel me? Like I'm just sending them shit, but like it's kind of crazy because like you can like. You can expand your network now. Like, I feel like in 2024, there's almost no limit to like what you to you not can do. be able to. Like, yeah. Expand so like that's that's my mindset when I was like thinking of expanding my brand. So that's one thing like I started taking serious. But um, I feel like my main thing is just like going up with my city because I work with a lot of artists in my city and I drop projects with people. But, um, I got my own project that's about to come up soon. <laughs> Stay in tune. So it's like everyone's like going over the beats that you've made. And then yeah, you know. so so you know how Metro Boomin be dropping shit yeah, with yeah. like 21. Yeah, I, yeah. I do like like a collab album <laughs> like that. You feel me? Because I feel like nice. a lot of Bye, a lot of producers don't really get their name out there like that. Because like they're just like ghost producing basically. You yeah. feel me? But like I like having my name. Like that's the here. second the second <laughs> part of the song. Like it all. Yeah. Like, you feel the me? He's got to go with like. And like once they're once they're familiar with your tagging your your beats and like who you are, you for me, I just feel like there's no way you could lose. Like in my in my opinion, at least, because like the people I've worked with, like they've all showed me like genuine love and like all the relationships Yo, I have with people. Are, like, they come from something. I'm gonna punch in after that. Can you lower just a little bit. What was your um? What are like some of your favorite projects? Do it one more time. Alright, but now what'd you say? What are some of like the favorite your most favorite projects you've done? Ah uh, shit. So honestly right now I got like like I got singles out with people but I have like an unreleased project I'm about to drop. Um, Sorry, it's about to have bro. Skrilla, J Critch, Core. It's gotta be like a whole bunch of ones. Okay, he said Luke Blaze. I'm dead ass. I need to make an appearance on that. Now we gonna have an album with those. Duh. Duh. That's just that's just already you know already in the works. So um, how do you balance an artist's vision with your own ideas and like expertise during like the production process? Um, the people I work with, I feel like they trust me. So that's like a really important part of the process because if they don't trust like my view of like what I think is is good, like. It might like 
clash and making like a good song but most of the people i work with like i don't have it, too many problems like if they don't like something i do like when i'm mixing or something like they'll just tell me and i'll change it but yeah. in terms of like creativity like, you know, when making like, beats like, like um people usually just let me send them whatever you feel me and they'll go from there yeah like they'll, they'll ask me what they want but you feel me so um what do you consider to be the most important aspects of like mis mixing and mastering Shit, no bullshit. Just like listening to mad music, you feel me? Cause like the more music you listen to, you're gonna hear different mixes, different like flavors almost, you feel me? It's almost like eating at different restaurants. Like, you know how some people like have like a certain taste for like expensive ass food. Yeah. They, they know those fancy yeah. ass flavors, bro. That's how I feel as an engineer when I listen to music. Bro. Cause you listening to it like at a, you're listening to a different like, I don't know, like part of the song. Like you're not listening to like what? Like, I'm listening to like, you. Listening to like like I can break down beat, like, like every part of the beat. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And the vocals and all that. So I mean, I feel like if you you are giving someone like not even like criticism, but like just like some advice, like it'd definitely be worth it to like to tune in like to what he's saying. Yeah. Like, um, you have, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, I was gonna say um like. Where that really came from, like my confidence in that is just like working with other engineers. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I've been in lots of rooms with di like uh, lots of different engineers. Like uh, I've been in the studio with chorus engineers. Like I've recorded Jay Critch. Like it it's just been like mad shit. Like the people that have taught me how to engineer, like they showed me a lot. Like, you feel me? And they have like a lot of credibility on their side. You feel me? Like, yeah. People that have recorded for like mad industry artists, you feel me? But honestly, like it's just about having a good ear and working with your artists and having like a good, um, uh, it's fair. like a good chemistry. You feel me? Uh, do you have like a preferred genre to work in, or do you like working across multiple genres? I mean, shit, I mostly do rap, but you feel me? I, I be fucking with like R&B and like, like, like other trying shit to like, like a different style. Like, nah, no bullshit. Like my dog Frank. He be, he be doing the guitar shits, he be making heavy metal drills, so I guess you could say that's like a, a different kind of drum. But like, we be cooking up shit like that. Uh, I got some shit with Fabio. It's like a guitar beat with, with my man Frank. Yeah. You feel me? And like, you probably always like, listening in like deeply for like, just crazy, like something like sample, or maybe like a sound that like you could use. like. You never know, like something you could just hear it and be like, you know, I got like, I can turn that into something. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, honestly, like when it comes to like making beats, at least I feel like once I hear like all the elements to a beat or like how to remake it, like that's when I really understand like like that genre, I guess. Cause like once you learn how to make one style beat, like let's say I didn't know how to make sexy drill beats, like I would I would sit down and listen to a sexy drill beat and try to break down each like instrument, you feel me? And that's how I would learn from there. Do you know how to play any instruments? Uh, yeah, I'd be playing the piano a little bit, you feel me? Um, Cause I feel like that's why, like there's probably people who want to like start making beats and like get into it, but they, they probably feel like they, they need to like play an instrument or like nah, they won't be able to like that. learn on their like computer because can't you like necessarily use your keyboard as like a chord yeah you could do that too like no bullshit like i do a lot of shit like that you feel me but i i play the piano only to like like hear what i want like it's it's easier to like play what i want to hear yeah if I, like, cause I'm familiar with the piano, but like, you don't have to be familiar with the piano to make beats. Cause like, my like, FL Studio, like, I've seen people finesse like a symphony, <laughs> like, yeah. like Beethoven, like on yeah, the computer, doing the craziest bro. shit, like, yeah, bro, no bullshit. So like, with all these, like, obviously you've worked with a lot of. You want to redo that? Yeah. You've worked with a lot of hot artists, like. Like, where do you see yourself going from here? How are you gonna like build on top of that? I mean, shit, no bullshit. I'm in my own lane. Like, I don't, I don't want to like copy no one else. I don't have like any like. You feel me? Like, I be fucking with like Metro Bloom and the producers like that. But like, for me, no bullshit. I just like 
like identify with my city and like the artists I work with because like I feel like that's where I get the most love and support. Yeah. So I feel like that's what's gonna push me in the farthest. So just like helping out artists in my area get to that next level is like the most important thing to me. What do you think? Like, nah, go, go ahead and. What do you think's making the most like noise? Like, where you from? Shit, no bullshit. All my dogs here that that's with me is making noise, but you feel me? Like, there's a lot of heads in Boston. Um, like, I, I got projects with um, Wild Jizzle. I got a project with Michi Columbia. I got a project with Wave Capone coming up. Fucking put in work. Shit. I got, oh, got mad shit. Um, what's the most valuable lesson you've learned like, in your career so far as a producer or engineer? As an engineer, I was just saying being ready. Like, there's been time. Like, my first session, I was in a, I was in a different studio, not something like this. It was like a little bit run down. You feel me? And the power went out, bro. My first session ever, bro. You feel me? You don't. You like that shit's gone. Like, what the fuck? Nah, it was. Well, yeah, the shit that I recorded was gone, but like, I was like started the session. You feel me? So, but. I was just like, I ain't know what to do, but I fucking, I, I switched the power and I got the power back on and all that shit, but like, you just gotta be ready for shit to go left, no bullshit, yeah. cause a lot of Any people second. might fold and if something like that happened, you feel me, like, yeah. like, you might get nervous or some shit, but like, you just really just gotta keep composure and just like, use your resources, cause like, I feel like I wouldn't have gotten as far as I've gotten without my resources. Like, when, so, when some shit goes down in the studio, I know I could call, bro, like, yo, like, yo, bro, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's kind of, like, it's just amazing to see you doing this, and doing like, recording a song right now, and you're constantly doing shit, and you're constantly doing these cuttings, while she's holding a conversation with you, like, that's just so fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, 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 that, like right now, it's like it's like second nature for you to do this. Like I'm looking at this, like uh, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like I wouldn't know. Like I was saying with like being ready, like yo, like that's, it's like a good and a bad thing because you have to be ready for like artists to be like yo, bro, I need you to punch me in the quick right here. Right like yo, like Jay Chris recorded him. He he's recording with like industry engineers all the time. He probably got his go-to guys. You feel me? So like the way that he records, he wants that like yeah, as yeah. soon as he. Punch in. If, he, if he messes up, he wants me to punch him right back, back in. in. Like, so yeah, working with like that has kind of gotten me like tap down yeah. like this, where it's like second nature for you to just cut in, cut back, like cut out, come back in. Yeah, you feel me? It's just like it's second nature now. It's just like part of the job you feel me. But like in terms of mixing this shit, that's where like I get like my flavor because I get to add like my own touches. Yeah. So like after countless hours like in the studio like working with like completely different people like what is advice you would give to an artist like when they're preparing for a studio session? Honestly, I would just say try to get with a producer if you can. I know like I feel like getting with a producer is like a lost art now. But like hopefully like people will see what I'm doing and like hopefully like try to work with another producer and go up with him the same way I'm doing with my art. You know what I mean? I really think having someone else that ha like has like a different like view on your music, I guess, um, can help you get to the next level. You feel me? Easy, easy. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, just like staring and watching them do this. If only we had like a camera like watching him do that as he's talking to us just to see how he's literally like doing it at the same time. Alright, we'll, we'll let you get back to this, but Dior, bro, thank you. I appreciate it. Bro, how do you do?
Nah, no bullshit, I'll be up here a lot, so like, bro, hopefully I can come back here with Frank, no bullshit, because I feel like y'all could do mad shit, yeah, See, bro, he be, he, like, he needs, like, studio sometimes, no bullshit, and if y'all ever, like, some me want to shoot some shit for some good-ass artists, that's what we're trying to do, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what that would be, like, our first, like, real taste of, like, no bullshit, bro, yeah, bro, because like, he, he think, he's in Berkeley right now, you know that, yeah, yeah so, he's, in school right now, but that's in mass, right? Yeah, so it's in Boston, but hopefully, like, um, like he, he be he be wanting to take trips like during his breaks. So hopefully, next time we're out here, yeah, definitely. Um,